Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much. And if this is the first time for you to see me, thank you for stopping by. In today's tutorial, we want to learn how to cut and sew a gathered blouse with a yoke. So we are going to draft the pattern first before, before cutting it on the main fabric. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. The measurement you need is your shoulder measurement, your bust measurement, waist measurement, and the full length. If it's not going to get to the hip measurement. So the first thing is for me to draw a straight line on my pattern paper and it stands for my shoulder line. So I'll call this my shoulder line. So I will draw the next line, which will be my boss line. To measure from your shoulder to your boss point, whatever measurement you have, then you mark it down. The one I'm working with is 11 inches. So I'll mark my 11 inches. Mark it this way, so I will connect with my straight line to form a straight line. The next line will be for me to draw my waistline. The waistline I'm working with is 16 inches. This is my first line, my waistline. So the next one will be the full length of the blouse. The full length that I want to make for this particular blouse will be 25 inches. So I will mark my 25 inches. You can decide the full length that you want to use. You can decide to make use of 25 or less than 25. It depends on the client you are working for. So I will call this my full length. So the next thing is for me to include my shoulder measurement so measure from one side of the shoulder to the other whatever measurement you have you divide it by two the one i'm working with is 16 inches when i divide it by two that gives me eight inches that is my shoulder then i will include neck measurement the neck measurements i want to make use of will be four by three for the front four by three you can decide to make use of maybe four by four or three by three depends on what you want so i'm connecting that is my neck for the front then i'll slope the shoulder by one inch i'll connect it to my shoulder i'll connect the shoulder slope to my neck width. Can you see? So the next thing now will be for me to include my angle measurement. To find your angle measurement, you divide your boss by 6 plus 1.5. That will give you the angle measurement. What I'm working with is 8 inches. Can you see? So I call that my chest line. So the next thing is for me to draw my angle curve. So I will connect this, my shoulder slope to meet this other chest line. So I include my boss measurement. That is my boss divided by 4. 10.25. Then on this, my chest line. I will come up by half of this line. This line is 8 inches, half of 8 is 4. So I'll mark my 4. Then on that point, I'll come in towards my center front by half of an inch. Then I'll connect using a curve line to this point. You can decide to use your free hand. If you have your curve, your French curve, then you can use your French curve.
I miss him. So the next thing will be for me to include my next measurement. Since I have my first measurement here, no point of repeating bus measurement again. So I'll go ahead and impute my waist measurement. The waist I'm working with is 40 inches. So when I divide 40 by 4, it gives me 10 inches. So measure around your waist. Whatever measurement you have, you divide it by 4. Then I will go down to my full length measurement. The full length I'm working with is 42 inches. So measure your own. Me, you want the blouse to stop. Just measure the circumference of that place. Then whatever measurement you have, you divide it by 4. The one I'm working with is 42. When I divide 42 by 4, that gives me 10.5. So I'll mark my 10.5 on the full length line. Then I'll connect it with my ruler. This dress is a gathered dress, so it doesn't need that. If you want to know how to draft your basic bodies, then you can go to my channel, you will see it all, and I will drop the link in the description box as well. But for the purpose of this tutorial, this is all the measurement that I need. So I will go ahead and add my sewing allowances. I will start from the shoulder. I'm going to add half of an inch to the joining of the shoulder. To the joining of the sleeve, I'm going to add quarter of an inch. You can decide to add more than a quarter of an inch. It depends on what you want to work with. Then with my joining allowance, I'm going to make use of two inches for my seam allowance. So I'll cut my pattern now. Let's cut out the yoke. I want my yoke to start one inch above my bust point. So I will mark one inch above the bust point. And decide to make use of 1.25 and decide to make it start from your boss point. It depends on what you want. One inch. So this is the point of my yoke. So I'll cut it out now. So I'll name this front yoke. This is my center front. Mark this center front as well. Because I'm using this to cut the male fabric. So let's work on the back. So for the back, I have cut out the plain pattern paper. Then I'll use my front measurement to trace out the back measurement. So I will start with the main body, this one, before going to the yoke part. The yoke part. So I will start with the full length line. I, this other line I've demarcated and I'll call it my zipper allowance. So I'll just place this other one this way. Then I will mark over the points. I will mark where the yoke starts. The yoke. I will mark my waist and the full length line. 
already have done the marking so I'll just connect the points so basically if possible you trace out the back part before cutting the yolk So I will connect this line. So this is my waist line. So I'll go ahead and trace my yoke by pressing the yoke on where the yoke starts. Then I'll just trace the ample. I use my cross roller to blend the ample. I use my roller to blend the ample. Then the leg will come to the shoulder. The leg measurements, remember the leg is of four inches, so the back will be four by one inch. Four inches points, and I'll come down by one inch neck depth. So I'll connect I'll join the neck now. That is my neck for the back. Then I will connect my shoulder slope for the back will be half of an inch. So I will include my shoulder measurement. Remember it was 8 inches. It was a quarter of an inch. Joining the allowance, I'm going to slope for the back by half of an inch. I'll connect it. To eliminate the ball game at the back of the zip, I'm going to come in by half of an inch on the waist line. Not half of an inch. Then I will connect. It's two inches above my full length line, and then I'll connect it to my neck depth. Then I'll connect it to two inches before my full length line. That will eliminate the zipper bulging. Before cutting it, I will impute my zipper allowance, starting from this, my shaping not from the normal zip allowance I used earlier. So I'm making use of two inches. Maybe if you can see. So I will cut my pattern now. Cut out the yolk. So this is the yolk for the back. So watch out for the cutting and the sewing of this beautiful top. Thank you so much guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that when once I post a new video you'll be first to be notified. Bye-bye.